Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to commentate from this venue, Selhurst Park in South London. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Crystal Palace versus Manchester United. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing backs will push further forward to make it a 3 5 2. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Davy De Gea stands between the posts. Victor Lindelof plays alongside Raphael Varane in central defence. Fred starts alongside Scott McTominay in midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And so the match is underway. Tremendous ball played through, but how well he did to cut that one out. Scott McTominay. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Jadon Sancho. Can he finish? And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, as you can see, what an excellent back heel this is to set up the goal. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Well, terrific skill. Well, he has cause to be grateful to his teammate. They couldn't maintain possession. Difficult to stop him. Conor Gallagher. Can he take the chance? Oh, there it is! A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted merely minutes. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So, a level contest. 1-1. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Fred. Now getting the ball forward. And back with Bruno Fernandes. Sancho. On to Ronaldo. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations.
Well, as you can see here, the build-up is patient, it's precise and penetrative, which opens up the opposition. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Will Hughes. Conor Gallagher. And Hughes has it. Now with Mateta. And teammates to play it to. And reading it absolutely superbly. Bruno Fernandes. Jaden Sancho. Here's Ronaldo. It's a fine United move in the making. Sancho. Well, the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out. Will Hughes. Gallagher. Now with Mateta. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. United regaining possession. Well, there it is. United haven't had as much of the ball, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. And can they make one of these passes count? Could cross it in here. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Will Hughes. And Zaha has it. Ezzy. Can he do it? Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, not cleared away completely. And in the end, no damage done. Jaden Sancho. So nearly at half-time, and the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, they're certainly not out of this. They've created some good chances and look threatening, but they need to be better defensively in the second half. They just can't afford to concede again. And the counter looks on here, options available. And space to cross it. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. And he read it well. Now, can they create something? Zaha. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? And clearing is away. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, a more than satisfactory performance from Ronaldo in the first half, Stuart. Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half.
The second half underway, United with the advantage, but no room for complacency. Jaden Sancho. Potential danger here. Alex Tellez. McTominay. On to Bruno Fernandes. Can he make it count? He needed to get there and did, but still the possibility. Opportunity. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. Wilfried Zaha getting through fantastic work here just to keep possession Scott McTominay Bruno Fernandes oh lovely weighted ball they might be in and he's in oh he saved it well Bruno Fernandes can he open the door to a potential goal what a vital intervention. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Ezzy. And Hughes has it. Jean-Philippe Mateta. Well, can they make one of these passes count? Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. 30 minutes left for play. Plenty of options. And return to Ronaldo. Fred with it. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Wilfried Zaha. Anderson. Gallagher. And continues his run. Well, space if he goes inside. Still looking to get the shot off. So a throw in here. Well, they've decided to make a change. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Wilfred Zaha. This is a message for Owen Kennedy. Owen, happy birthday from your friend Jonathan Fish. Ronaldo. Crossing opportunity. Now Paul Pogba. Ronaldo pulls it back. Can they cover up? And in the end, no damage done. Klein. Kuyate. Ezzy. Good movement. It's a good-looking ball in behind. And he could cash in. Is it going to be? 
Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Well, approaching full time, and this is wearing the look of mission impossible for the home side, Stuart. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to close the opposition down. And secondly, they haven't defended their box well enough. It's been a poor defensive display. And the cross is very much on. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. And a poor pass it was. No getting away from it. Throw in here. Anderson. Eberechi Ezi on the ball. Could be threatening. Timely intervention. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. Ezi. The outcome is a goal kick here. Here's a change for Manchester United. Number 25, Jalen Sancho, to be replaced by number 14, Jesse Lingard. Diogo Dallo not to be advised giving the ball away there oh managing to beat him not finished yet not quite yet still excitement left in the game well here's the replay watch how he goes past his man with such ease and it's just a change of pace and then what a strike that's hit with such ferocity certainly no stopping that that's a great goal And that will be all. A disappointing day at the office for Crystal Palace. Stuart, where did it go wrong? Well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat and he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.